Mm. Another thing that really broke my heart was the fact that you said Fela was no longer your wife and that mm. she's your baby mother. Mm. Um, do you mind clearing the air on that? What What did that mean? Yeah, what you read, it, it means <laughs> what, what it means. What happened? You know, for the past few days, Medica and Fela are no more, which he posted on Twitter. A lot of people are thinking that this post was just for the crowds. No, this is a real thing. And Medica and Fela McAfee are no more. You know, America actually got married at the age of 26 years. And barely four years now, he divorced the wife. So he was on some podcast talking about his uh, London concert. So in the course of this conversation, he was posed the question that why did he post this information on Twitter? And this is what he said. Another thing that really broke my heart was the fact that you said Fela was no longer your wife and that oh. she's your baby mother. Oh. Um, do you mind clearing the air on that? What what did that mean? Yeah, what you read, it, it means <laughs> what, what it means. What happened? <laughs> so after that conversation, they talked and he explained things to them. And he was also asked, during his marriage to Fela McAfee, did he regret something in the marriage? Did he regret something? Is there anything that disturbed disturb him in, during this marriage? And he answered to them that there was some kind of disagreement between them. Though he did not regret anything about getting married at that young age or whatever, let's listen to his speech. Uh, married at 26. 26, yes. Yeah, Do you I think th it, was a, it was a rash decision? No, I won't call it a rash. It's normal. Okay. Anything you go through, you see, as a man, you forfeit try everything. So, mm. whether good or bad, you forfeit find a way there. Mm. If you meet somebody where they love the person, I don't think age is a it should be a boundary. Right. If you want to marry the person, marry him. So they are But if you marry somebody at 40, and regret at 60 <laughs> when they, you waste, you waste their life. Yeah. 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 I don't regret. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Me, I don't really regret too. Everything they experience is normal. Right. It's, a, it's a good thing that happened to me, actually. It made me experience, you know, life. It made me understand life. Mm. And then it's not like there's any bad blood between me and her. We are good. We are taking care mm. of her. So an amicable. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So do you I'll... call this separation or we call this divorce? We don't date together anymore. Like, so that's I'm a... telling you, so real shit. We are not. You all have heard what he said. So during the conversation again, he was reposed a question. They posed a question to him that, so if he did not regret anything or he did not have any disagreement, why did he go to an extent to delete Fela McAfee's name on his arm? He deleted the tattoo of Fela McAfee's name and he said something. This is really funny. Let's listen to him. Prospect to an extent. I was a bit personal. I don't want to have, you know, like maybe my next girlfriend or next wife, maybe I'm fucking and she's looking at my baby mama's name. That's how I covered it. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like okay. it is somewhere else. Oh, like, right. we are in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> morning, morning. morning. Yeah. You, know, young... you see, you all have heard what uh, Medica say. No, this is something, I don't think Medica will say this online, but he actually said it clear. He made it clear. Dope. He said he doesn't want the situation in which he will be in Taekwondo, Takuta, Takuta, with his current or the future wife. Then it will be like the lady will see the tattoo on his arm, like Fela McAfee. That is a mess, nigga. It's a whole of mess. So he doesn't want that thing to happen. He said if like this were to be in other parts of his body, to like be cool with it by his arm, ta, 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 Fela McAfee, no, it's not going to work. So that is the reason why and the purpose why he deleted uh, Fela McAfee's name. So, you see, when these things happen, like this divorce issue come, mostly these are the people that suffer the most. The families of these two people and especially their kids. So he was asked a question that, what will happen to Ireland, his daughter, his lovely daughter? And he said, no, Ireland is okay. They are, she's been taken care of both the mother and the father are doing their work as they deserve. She's good. For life. That kid should be sorted. Mm. She's good. Yeah. Island is so good. Island is great. Yeah. Love Island. of your life. From both parents, Ireland is sorted. He gave me So now Medica is going to give us some lessons as he have learned from this marriage with uh Fela McAfee. He learned a lot. So he actually says some things that I found out, yes. He, that's his point of view because he have been in the marriage for four years. He has that experience of four years. Not like the ones that do not be, not like the ones that are not in marriage. They have never tried marriage before. 
they have not been there so they have no experience no idea about marriage he said there was disagreement between that they are not agreeing on them but it was like how medica was speaking over this like the thing no it depend on the pain on small small but it's just that it be hard it be man yeah it be man it be man bro yeah so that's what the thing was happening so let's listen to his part of the story how he learned something from this whole marriage issue it's great it doesn't matter me i got married at the age of 26 you mm -hmm. get me and and I feel like now, nah, because it wasn't working. But obviously, it doesn't matter if you are 25, 26, 27. End time early. Don't be scared. Don't mm -hmm. waste your whole life. Waste your years. Go chop. Think say you for chop like 40 before you drop. Mm -hmm. That one, you don't break your heart at 50. <laughs> you will start afresh. Now, where you go start for? The heart's no good day. You understand me? But you shouldn't be scared to try anything. If you love somebody and you feel like you should get married to the person, I don't see why you there should, should be any fear or there should be any hurt. So, there we go again you see this medica and fella mcafee are good couples yes they are good couples oh, hey, they are good couples you see fella mcafee and uh, medica have been doing content about whenever he drops some new bangers they have been doing content and you can see them sometimes uh medica will take some bread they'll be eating putting some coke on it then he'll be jumping jumping fella to be doing the same thing or they will come together and do something nice so he was asked that is he going to miss those moments when they were in the relationship and what he was saying i feel like he, he was actually regretting something but he said there's no feelings over there it's normal thing so he's not going to miss any moment yeah i don't feel any missing elements it's normal that was my girl i was dancing with into you go find some boy or man we into you go dance with uh, nothing changed we don't set any record this will be the first time it happened <laughs> you guy. get me can you listen to kadasa's they get fucked oh, with this this guy, guy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. So i, I miss my car at 26. <laughs> going to agree on so many things and uh, you know that's what it was so that's why we know that's some attention. You know, if you I say the love finish mm. or it be decision. So okay, I they love you, but the way this thing they be doing, Charlie. No, the love they never go finish because that's the love. That's that 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 my baby mama. Hallelujah. I like that. I like yeah. that. We didn't take too much time. I just, I just woke up one day. I was like, no, nah, I need to address this before someone sees um, with someone else somebody like uh, D Black. Smoking in some corner for club, sharing a, a cohiba together, mm -hmm. and then feel like, oh, you, you are, are cool. there smoking with medical wife. Oh, that's cold. Me, I don't want people to disrespect me that way. You get me? So right. I had to pull it out so that people will know that she's free to live her life. You get me? Right. That's why I called D Black a bitch ass nigga because that's what that's Yay. not what real niggas would do. Because years ago, oh. D Black, I only, only played with you that morning. Years ago, you hit me up. You wanted a verse. I did a verse for you. You even want you even want an award with that song, right? So you have to. You have to have some respect. You get mm -hmm. me. I don't even see you the black and wife and this on corner. Then maybe me down they masturbate or they take my hand they chop in somewhere. You get me. That's that would be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. That's how I would see it from my point of view. You get me. So that's what made me talk. Yeah. So that's how the whole issue happened. So that's the part of uh, Medica's explanation when he was on this podcast talking about his London concert. What do you think about this uh, whole back and front of Medica's divorce? Do you think he did the right thing because he's not feeling well in the marriage again? There is no peace or whatever. Whatever I think, let it be in the comment section. Thank you for watching Abdoni Studio.